Hi guys, welcome to another Some Guy production. I come back with this show. Hi guys, welcome to another Some Guy production. Alright, today I'm having a look at the, um... Hey, I'm having a look at the, um... Hello guys, welcome to another Pico Tour Productions. I know it's been a while, but I'm not actually doing a proper official video as such, but I'm, yeah, it's official video, sort of. Anyway, I'm answering a few questions in this video. Um, I've been getting a number of emails through YouTube and through my email address um, about, uh, well, general gaming questions on, on Macs uh, for people that are actually thinking of switching from PC to Mac. Um, and surprisingly, there are a lot of people this year that have been wanting to switch to Mac since last year. So that's quite um, impressive. But nonetheless, uh, I thought I would uh, get back to Steam for Mac as well, because Steam for Mac pretty much is the keystone, um, I mean the milestone that has hit the Mac this year, and pretty much what how far they've come. Pretty much Valve has delivered on everything they've said they were going to do this year. They pretty much released all their games. Um, so their uh, Counter-Strike Source, Days of Defeat Source, uh, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, uh, Half-Life uh, 2 Episode 2, and cancel that. Right, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, um, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Portal, and Team Fortress 2. So they pretty much come out with what they said they were going to do anyway. So I'm going to actually take you through, uh, using ScreenFlow, the measurement of which I'm going to show you guys pretty much the gameplay. Um, and also a few games that you can get on Mac anyway. So, just looking at my Steam list here, if you can see, pretty much, we've got, uh, alright, so this is not an actual Steam game, but the beauty of Steam is that you can put shortcuts in there from games that you have on Mac. So, we've got Battlefield 2142, that's a very old game, obviously, but it's available on Steam. I don't know why they don't put um, all these games on Steam, maybe it's some politics thing between the companies or something or other, but anyway... That is on the PC version of Steam, so you can get Battlefield 2142 on Steam, but I put just a shortcut on there for the Mac edition. Uh, same thing with Call of Duty 4, that's not on Steam for Mac, but you can get it on Steam for real on PC, but you can get Call of Duty, obviously this is Call of Duty 4 for the Mac, but it comes out from a different company, obviously. Uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert 3, again, can get it on Steam, but in the version of Steam for Mac, you can't get it. But you can get the actual physical game for Mac. So that's Call of Duty, uh, uh, sorry, that's Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. Same thing with uh, Command & Conquer 3. Uh, here we go. Here's the first Steam game of the list. And we've got uh, Counter-Strike Source. Alright, so Counter-Strike Source is pretty much one of Valve's games that they promised to put on, and that's it. We'll see some gameplay in a sec. Uh, Days of Defeat Source, uh, Dragon Age Origins. Uh, it's not an actual Steam game, but it's available on Steam for the PC version, but you can actually buy this from Gametree.com. Uh, Dragon Age Origins plus the expansion. I haven't finished the actual game itself, so I didn't get the expansion yet. So, yeah. That's Dragon Age Origin, Origins. Uh, we've got... Foreign Legion, Blood, uh, Buckets of Blood, that's on Steam as well. Uh, so we've got Half-Life 2, obviously. Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Uh, Half-Life Episode 1, Half-Life Episode 2. Killing Floor. Well, recently, just came out the last few days, Left 4 Dead. Uh, and Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, Need for Speed Carbon, not part of Steam at all. Even on, I think it's not even on the PC version, but pretty much uh, this is a Mac OS game, but I've just put the shortcut in there once again. Uh, Portal, Prince of Persia, that's the recent one before the movie. Yeah, so that's it, just another shortcut as usual. Um, Team Fortress 2, 
that's actually quite good as well. So we've got Torchlight, that's off Steam as well, and World of Goo. Yes, I'm, I'm aware it's on Steam, but I, I've had World for Goo before Steam for Mac came out. So this is actually from GameTree.com as well. But you can run them directly. All these shortcuts come directly from Steam as well. So you can double click on them and they'll take it into the game and it'll give you all your update static status and that sort of thing when you're playing a game in Mac OS with Steam for Mac. But we'll start off with a few games. So we'll start off with obviously Counter-Strike Source. Okay, I'm just going to go into bot mode. I know I should probably be going into something, you know, a little bit more, I don't know, challenging. <laughs> but for this demonstration, I'm just going to use uh, the normal standard bots gameplay. Just give you a rough look at how well it performs with screen <laughs> casting software in the background, frames per second wise of things. Alright, cool. Alright, let's move out. Alright. So you can see pretty good smooth there. But we're just gonna go straight into obviously Alright, we'll move on to uh, Days of the Feet. Actually, no, we'll go straight into Left 4 Dead. Uh, Left 4 Dead 1. And straight into it. <laughs> So this is Left 4 Dead 1 on Mac OS uh, Snow Leopard natively running on Steam for Mac. Hold up. Okay. So we're just going into the menu. So we'll take a look at um, resolution wise and that sort of thing. Uh, so this is the this is the original Left 4 Dead, so if we go to video, we'll take a look at options here. Just hold on a sec. Alright, so I've got it completely maxed out on my 30 inch LCD monitor at 2560 by 1600 resolution. Uh, obviously, it's full screen. Uh, we've got some um, filters on, uh, we've got uh, V Sync enabled, a triple bluff uh, apparently. Uh, everything's at very high, 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 whatever. Okay. Cool. So let's play her out. I'm going to play it in single player. And let's play, say. Um, hmm. What's a good one? Let's go the first one. Why not? Alright, let's start game. Alright, so left so left for dead for the Mac, natively running. This is one of many games that will be running on the Mac, obviously. But it's good to have these type of games on the Mac, that's for sure. It gives also OpenGL another running of a chance. Hopefully OpenGL will make a comeback on Windows. And we may see ourselves actually using Mac OS. I mean sorry, OpenGL. <laughs>
Right, obviously you can't see the complete... The subway can take us straight to Mercy Hospital. No matter exactly what I do anyway on this, I'm obviously going to be seeing 30 frames per second based on the uh, based on the screen capturing software maxed out on HD. So, this is Left 4 Dead, obviously. Runs relatively good. As you can see. Alright, so that's pretty much Left for Dead, just for a brief... Uh, two of that. So we're going to go straight into now Left 4 Dead 2 to give you a brief rundown on what that looks like on uh, Mac OS. Alright, so we'll go straight into Left 4 Dead 2 on Mac OS 10. Snow Leopard. Alright, as I said again guys, this is on Steam for Mac. So this is all native games that run on the Mac for the Mac. I will do probably a comparison video down the track, if I can, if I have time, uh, to compare the frames per second between uh, Mac OS and of course um, Windows gameplay on these games. Uh, so yeah, we've all seen this, so moving on. Okay, let's go straight into obviously single player for now. Okay, death center. We'll go into something a little bit better. Another good one. Passing is pretty cool. Go straight into passing. Alright, so this is Left 4 Dead 2, uh, natively running on Steam for Mac in Mac OS Snow Leopard on my Mac Pro 8 core. Okay, I've got to actually go through the maximum resolution that I put on this and specs, so just hold on a second, I'll wait for it to load and I'll show you. Hey, can you lower the bridge so we can get our car across? Um, no. Oh. Uh, do we, uh... We need to know some sort of... a password or something? Uh, no. The generator is out of gas. If you get over to the other side and fill it up, we can cover you. Best I can offer. Okay, well... I guess we'll take you. Let's obviously take a look at the specs here. Alright, so 2560 by 1600 resolution. Uh, we're pretty much maxed out in settings here. So there's filters on, there's everything gone high, so brilliant. Uh, so let's have a look. This is on my 8 core Mac Pro natively running in Mac OS, so it opened GL. And there's no more weapons. Nice. Oh. Well. Reloading. Kill that zombie. It's got something. I'm a reload. Reloading. Reloading. Reloading! Reloading! Relo 
reloading. 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 Okay, obviously this is the high violence version, so this is not the actual Australian, you know, censored version. Uh, well, I actually bought the non-censored version, that's for sure. So, here we go. So that's pretty much left for dead. Alright, so that's pretty much Left for Dead, guys, so let's get out of there. Alright, just quitting out of it now. Alright, um, uh, well, you get the idea. I could probably do more videos down the track based on this, but um, I'll give you a couple of games there to start off with. And if there's any requests for me to run any other games, then sure, I'll I'll run those games and show you guys as well how well they run as well. So yeah, this is I hope this answers a lot of uh, people's questions.